Good morning, everyone. Today we have Brian Robson from all the way in the oil fields in Canada to tell us about his survival story. Thank you for coming in this morning. We really appreciate it for coming to share your story. So my name is Brian. I am 15 years old. I'm from New York. I was going to visit my dad in the oil fields in Canada uh, for my summer break, but then my plane crashed and I was missing for two months. What did it feel like after the crash? Well, it was quite really disastrous. I couldn't move for a few days. I had um, a minor headache and it was really, I was really struggling to get out of the plane because I really hurt my leg and my headache. What was the most important thing you were able to salvage from the plane? It was probably this hatchet because um, I, I could use it to make fire, cut things like chop down some wood, take fire and I could kill things with it because it's quite sharp. I could go like kill fish in the lake so it was quite useful. So tell me what was your favourite food in the wilderness and how did you catch it? Well it was quite hard but um, the full world was probably the best. Well, the meat was like rich. I cooked so I got the hatchet, I carved out like a bow, I got my shoelace, I like made strength to get a bow and I shot it with an arrow. How did you feel when the pilot didn't survive? So when I went back to the late, um, for the to the plane to get supplies, um, I saw the pilot sitting there in the plane. He had a heart attack in the plane. That's because we crashed. And I was just sad, grateful that I made it, and sad that he didn't because he could have helped me survive. He might have had a radar. He could have called for emergency. So yeah. Nothing really worked out when he died. How long were you away? Did time feel the same? Not really, because I ate like once a day to save food. It, I thought I was gone for like three weeks because I couldn't really tell because I was stuck in the plane for a few days and I got out. I didn't really know what time it was. That later on, when I was rescued, I found out it was two months. You weren't rescued the first time. What happened? What went wrong? Well, I wasn't really quick enough. I didn't really notice until I heard it. So I quickly ran back to the fire, trying to put it up. But by the time I got there, I was like spearfishing. So by the time I got there, the plane had flew, flew over me. I was disappointed in myself. I didn't execute everything the right way. But the second time I saw a plane, it came land on the lake. I ran back, I got all the things I needed. I went to meet the man in the plane. What were your emotions when you finally got rescued? I was really relieved that I could finally go home, see my parents, and I was really excited and happy. What advice do you have for anyone else stuck in a similar situation? Oh, I, if anyone else would find themselves trapped in the woods or anywhere really, try get the shelter first and warmth and food, like the key things to survive. Don't focus on, oh, getting like a radar first thing, you need food, shelter and water. Thank you for coming in this morning. We really appreciate it. It's my pleasure.